our Pitch to America, where we let real people pitch their ideas directly to the Tonight Show audience. Last week, we showed you pictures from the Creative Screenwriter magazine, Screenwriters Expo, was held here in Los Angeles, where hopeful writers pitch their ideas to real Hollywood movie, um, movie executives from the major studios. There were so many good ideas, we're going to bring you part two tonight. I want you to play along at home, try to guess whether studio executives call back the writer for another meeting or not. Get ready to vote. Here we are. Pitch to America. Hi, this is Steve Carey. The name of my pitch is called Oxymorons. It's a comedy about two teenage geniuses who get struck by lightning and turn into total morons just when they become goodwill ambassadors for the United States and have to tour world capitals representing our country. Have you ever wondered what happens in your local grocery store when the lights go out at night? Well, Jay, in my animated film, Shelf Life, you find out. The characters that we grew up from childhood all come to life. Every aisle is a street, the entire store is a block party. There's a love triangle between Aunt Jemima, Ms. Buttersworth, and Mr. Clean. The frozen food section has Mrs. Paul and Sarah Lee at battle. These characters are coming out of the cupboard, Jay. Hi, my name is Mark Miller, and the name of my piece is Home by Midnight. It's a story of a father who's terrified that his 15-year-old daughter is about to go on her first date, especially when he meets the first date, who's a guy that looks like Tommy Lee. So what happens is the father decides to secretly trail his daughter and the date the whole night long on their date without her knowing. The date turns out to be the most innocent Norman Rockwell-esque date in history, but every possible hellish situation happens to the father as he's following them. Uh, in one of the restaurants, he falls into a giant uh, water pit and alligators get him. He ends up wrestling with an alligator. Hi, my name's Patrick Lobson. I'm from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and I can pitch my movie in one word. Shebe. An astronaut chimpanzee with the steam issues goes up an experimental, in an experimental flight and gets caught in the space-time continuum. He comes back evolved. Can the now handsome ex-chimp become the real astronaut he always longed to be and capture the heart of the girl that he always loved. Okay, my name's Bob, and I have a story about Seymour Gawking, attorney at law. It's uh, Perry Mason meets Stephen Hawking, uh, where we use a computer voice for, for Seymour Gawking since he lost his voice. He's a trial lawyer, and he has to uh, go to court, use his laptop, uh, get through the Viagra pop-up ads, do everything he needs to do, but he has to do it with his computer. His computer is always dying of viruses and worms. <laughs> Stealing Maryland. It's a dark comedy about two guys that decide the way to make it big in Hollywood is to steal and sell the body of Marilyn Monroe. She's in Westwood Cemetery. It'd be like stealing a burrito out of a vending machine. Everything that can go wrong does go wrong. The drill dies. The cops come. They're out trying to dig her out with a backhoe, and they smash their car instead. And all of a sudden, Joe DiMaggio appears. He's bringing one more dozen roses for the eternal love of his life, Marilyn Monroe. Joe sets them straight, tells them what's important in life, what isn't. The guys realize the error of their ways. Hey, Jay, I'm Lisa Tavall. I'm here to pitch my script, Hot Tomatoes. It's about an introverted chemistry student who's doing her thesis on creating a fertilizer to make bigger tomatoes, and she accidentally spills it on her boobs, and they become really big like Pamela Anderson, and suddenly everybody in the world loves her, and she has to deal with the center of attention that she's always been used to. 